you have to get a list and say, what are all the things I do that have massive value, that are impossible for me to replace? Now, Peggy, you and I both know that only comes down to you following up with leads. You go What's going on, everybody? Uh, ben Barreto here, real estate pro, Knoxville, Tennessee, Keller Williams Realty. And uh, I'm just uh, taking you all along on a quick trip. I'm driving to, uh, to Gatlinburg where uh, I've been following up with a for sale by owner uh, for probably almost three weeks now. And we haven't had a lot of conversations, but uh, she she's one of those uh, for sale by owners you hope for in every call, where when you ask them if they have uh, a deadline or, or how long they're gonna try to sell before they list, she actually gave me a date and uh, or time period. So, you know, I've been following up and every time I, I, I hit her up, I. Uh, use the Jason Morris question, when do you want to put me to work? When do you want me to go to work for you? Are you ready to, for me to help you sell that house? And uh, this last conversation we had was a couple days ago and she said um, she wanted to try to go for an, an, a few more weeks as a for sale by owner. Um, but then the next day she sent me an email and said, hey, I've got some keys hidden around the house. Why don't you go look at it uh, and then from the, then let me know if you still want to sell it so uh, I'm heading up there to go look at it uh, because I feel like I should I don't really want to go I'd rather be uh, at home with my family because this, she's, she, this, her, this cabin is about an hour away from my house so it's a two hour drive uh, total and uh, is it going to be worth it I hope so but I also know that uh, I don't want to blow smoke up people's uh, rear end saying, uh, yes, I looked at the house now. Are you ready to sign here? So I, I do want to go look at it. I want to be honest with her. Uh, I do have some issues that I'm worried about with this house, and I'll share those when we get there. But I need to pay attention to the road right now because uh, I'm driving into the mountains, and the roads are getting windy. What's up, guys? So I'm here at the, the, uh, the house. Uh, and uh, it, it was a for sale by owner, and as you can see, it needs it needs work. It needs uh it needs some work. Um, there's seven bedrooms in this place. Uh, I counted four bathrooms, five bathrooms, seven bedrooms, five bathrooms. So I think originally this place was made to be a uh, a multi-unit rental, but uh. The layout is in such a way that, uh, you know, it's it's more of a one rental house for a lot of people, like maybe a big family get together. The area is really pretty. I mean, you have some 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 uh, privacy up here, but uh, I'm in the mountains, so I don't have internet connection. But I believe this place, uh, she's trying to sell it for 200. I think it's around 250 thousand. She's probably not going to get that. Uh, Big, big place. It doesn't look like it from this angle, but there's a whole nother lower level underneath this ground right here. Uh, I want to get home to my family or I take you inside to look at it, but it's not really worth looking at. Uh, there, there's obviously uh, renovations going on inside. I don't know how much she plans to do uh, because she's already got it on Zillow as a for sale by owner. Um, but I, I, I'm going to run some numbers, but she's probably going to have to come down quite a bit on, on that price uh, if she was to list it. Um, because there's potential here there's potential but it's going to have to go to somebody it, the only people that are the only person that's going to buy this uh is going to be someone that knows their numbers uh because they're going to want to buy this uh and and take advantage of the five bathrooms and uh seven small bedrooms but uh uh so maybe so maybe we'll see what happens i'll keep you guys posted uh we're going to call this the gatlinburg uh the, the gatlinburg fisbo and uh, i'll catch you up on the gatlinburg fisbo and we'll see how it goes in the meantime, uh, lessons that I've learned today. One, as desperate as I am to start getting new business, um, I, I'm going to restrict how far I'm going to drive out for potential listings. So I told you in the car ride I was going to share uh, some lessons learned uh, today. 
I was going on Facebook and I was my because this house is in an area called Gatlinburg, uh, which is in a, count, a county called Sevier County. Uh, I learned years ago, a couple years ago, when I was with EXP Realty, uh, before we broke up, I got a listing in Sevier County. Super excited, first listing. It was a for sale by owner as well. Signed it as soon as I walked in the house. She signed papers with me. Um, turned out to be a crazy woman, but that's another story. The point of this story is I found out through that listing that Sevier County has its own MLS. And you can't co-list on the MLS with someone that's on the MLS. You have to be a member. Even if you co-list with someone that's a member, you yourself have to be a member or the house can't be listed on their MLS. See how that works. But uh, I forgot all that. And then, so coming back out here, I was like, oh, I need to find someone that I'm going to co-list with. And I found a, a, a young lady who actually happened to be a part of my Keller Williams office. We were chatting and uh, uh, about it and, and building up all this hype. Uh, and then I called the local MLS here. It's the Greater Smoky Mountain Area, uh, Smoky Mountain Association of Realtors, uh, GSMAR. And uh, I, I called them and basically asked them, and they said that they repeated what I knew then but forgot. You cannot list on their MLS unless you're a member. It doesn't matter if you co-list or not. It, it you have to uh, be a member. So uh, to be a member right now, uh, because we're kind of into the year, we'll be prorated at two hundred and twenty-five dollars, and then it'd be four hundred in October, and it's like four hundred something every year. Uh, currently, four hundred is like half the Knoxville Area Association uh, dues for half the year, but uh, that's a much bigger MLS. So uh, the the lesson is stick to my area. Stick to Knoxville, stick to Knox County, uh, ignore pimples, and uh, don't, don't look at it, guys. And, uh, you know, move into the outer areas when you have the money to do so because you're going to have to join other boards. It's frustrating because the reason I, I expanded my search within Red X to allow these counties was because I had already run through all the new for sale by owners. And uh, as I was calling older for sale by owners, I was quickly realizing that m the majority of them – have already sold or listed with an agent. So um, I was trying to find new for sale by owner. I was trying to grow my new for sale by owner lead list. So I included these counties and uh, I'm not a member so it's kind of a waste of time. So now I gotta go back and, and restrict the, those, uh, those uh, uh, parameters for that uh, whole uh, new FISBO list that I created within Red X. Um, Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about, uh, and I don't sound like an idiot. But basically, I guess the, the lesson from this that I'm taking in and the lesson that you should take in, especially as a new agent who is going to not have a lot of money to spend, you can't go join every board uh, in your area, is to stick within your board's uh, counties and, and what they cover. Because uh, I'm sure all boards do this They because it, it makes total sense. They want you as a member. They want to get your money. So they're not going to let you co-list with somebody else to get on their uh, MLS. You might be lucky enough to live in an area like that. I'm not. Sevier County is a great area to sell homes. Highly sought after. It's a it's a tourist area. It's right next to the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. Uh, beautiful, beautiful area. I used to live up here and I loved it. It's where I went to culinary school back in the day. Um, but uh, I can't I can't sell up here right now. Luckily, Knoxville is big enough, and uh, on average, we're getting. I probably get two to three new for sale by owners a day in on the in the Knoxville area. There's a few days where I wasn't and I kind of panicked and, 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 and added Sevier County. But I'm gonna go change that. So because uh, I don't and the biggest thing I don't want to drive an hour and a half. I drove up a fucking mountain. Excuse my language, but I drove up a mountain to get here. And uh that wasn't fun. And now it's uh almost uh it's six forty four and uh I've got an hour to get home. Uh Maybe a little bit of time to spend with my family before I have to go to bed because I got to be at my day job uh, at 6 a.m. Uh, to start that shift. So, lesson learned. Um, especially uh, as a real estate agent, I need to be extremely precise with my time. Uh, and I already, as in my personality, waste a lot of time. As you can tell, I'm just chatting on about things that probably shouldn't even be in this video. But, uh, you know grow. At least I recognize it. I'm going to work on it and I'll grow and get better.
I will uh, see you guys back in Knoxville. Have a good one.